this guide covers how to create a contact form in a Gatsby site. We're going to use Axios on the front end. We're going to forward our data to Amazon API Gateway via POST request. Amazon API Gateway is going to call AWS Lambda function. This Lambda function is going to forward our form data to an email using Amazon Simple Email Service. Our website is going to be hosted on Cloudflare Workers. For DNS management, we are using Cloudflare. We are also going to configure a custom Amazon API Gateway URL. So here's our simple React component. I'm not going to take you through the component itself. I will attach the link to the file in the video description below. You will need to configure the URL parameter for our Axios request. The URL will be replaced with your custom domain. This custom domain will be set up during our AWS API Gateway configuration. Let's create our Lambda function. Let's name our function example SES. Next, we need to configure our permissions. We're going to configure our permissions with the JSON object. Paste following into the editor. I'm going to attach this object in the video description below. This basically allows our Lambda function to send SES emails. We're going to name our policy example SES policy. You should see our policy attached here below. We can safely delete the other policy that we have. You can check if your policy has been set up correctly by clicking the arrow. All looks fine. Next, let's go back to our Lambda function. In the code editor, we need to modify the source code. Double click on the index.js file and paste following. Click on deploy. And we are good to go. I will attach the source code in the video description below. It is important to note that both of the addresses here have been added to Amazon SES and also have been verified. To add and verify your emails with Amazon SES is very simple. You would need to go to Simple Email Service. Once you're on the Simple Email Service page, click on Email Addresses. Simply click on Verify New Email Address and follow the prompts. Let's set up our API gateway. Log in to your AWS account and from the dashboard search for API Gateway. To get started, click on the build on the REST API. Next, we're going to select new API because that's what we're building. For the API name, choose anything you like. I'm going to go with the API example. Next, we click create API. At this point, we need to create a new resource. I usually like to split my resources so that I know which path is referring to what action. For this instance, we're going to call our resource contact. Check the enable API gateway course if you don't want to see the course error in your console. Click on create resource. The next step would be to assign a method to our resource. In our case, it's going to be a post method. All we need to do here is to select our previously created Lambda function. Click Save. Next, we need to set up our course headers. By default, we don't have additional headers set up with our response. 
You can verify your response headers by clicking on method response. As you can see, there are no headers here. You can set up course headers in two ways, manually or let AWS generate them for you. We're gonna let AWS generate our course headers. Under actions, click on enable course. Now let's check our newly generated headers. Let's deploy our API. For the development stage, we're just going to create a new dev stage. It can be anything. The URL for your API is long and ugly. Let's make it pretty. Let's click on custom domain names. Next, create a domain name. Next, we need to enter a domain name. This can be anything. I'm going to start mine with API dot followed by your domain. The important step here is to set up a certificate. If you don't have a certificate, click create ACM certificate. So click request a certificate, choose a domain name, use DNS or email validation. I go for DNS validation. So once you're logged into your Cloudflare account, just create a CNAME with the values provided to you by the AWS Certificate Manager. Once you have the certificate ready, click select and create a new domain. The next thing we need to do is to map our domain. Click API mappings and configure the API mappings. Add new mapping. Select the API. Select the dev. For the path, you can add something like version 1, version 2. But for now, I'm going to leave it blank. Okay, we have this enabled. Go back to configuration. Next, we're gonna set up our DNS for the custom API URL. Go to the API gateway screen, custom domains, where you've just configured API mappings. You have the API gateway domain name. So copy this. Go to Cloudflare. and map the C name to the AWS. Turn off the cloud and click save. I already have this set up, so I'm not gonna click save. And we are done. This is how we map our custom domain to the AWS API Gateway. Don't forget to update your React component with the correct URL. Keep in mind that sometimes you might see a course error, even though your course headers have been set up correctly. To find the cause of the problem, I recommend for you to check the network tab in your console, in particular the response you get from the server. Even though you get a core server in your console, but the server might be complaining about some other issue. For example, in this case, I'm intentionally sending misformatted data. Thank you for watching everybody. I hope you found this video somewhat helpful. If you did, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.